the first item are DVD VCR combo players. I currently only have seven of them because they sell extremely quickly. I wish I had hundreds of them. If anyone has any leads, let me know. Um, also, I'll throw in VCR VHS players. These have extremely fast sell through rates and they sell for really good money. $60, $80, $100, even up to $300. So the question is, which ones should I be looking for? Which ones sell the best? Let me show you. Hopping into my computer screen, I'm going to show you guys how you can know which items to look for. So, first of all, I just typed into eBay DVD VHS combo player. We immediately see that 7,800 are listed. Now we're gonna go over and we're gonna see how many are sold, which is going to show us that boom, 8,000 are sold. So just as a, as this is actually very rare, just as an item in general, it has over a 100% sell through rate. So this is awesome, okay? So we know we need to be looking for DVD VCR combo players, but which ones should we be looking for? And at what price targets? So you need to understand how much your average cost of goods is going to be on this and then what the average sales price is gonna be and then with all of the shipping and everything added up and the time and the money spent, is it worth it for you and your business? So when we look over here at the available inventory, we can see the average price is between 55 and $85. So we're going to go ahead and apply the ones that have sold for 85 for at least $55. And we're seeing we have a Sony SLV. We have a Magnavox DV220MW9. We have a Samsung. We have a Sony. We have a Magnavox. We have a Magnavox. We have a Sony. We have a Magnavox. We have a Magnavox. We have another Magnavox. We have another Magnavox. We have another Sony. Are you guys noticing a pattern here? It looks like... Magnavox and Sony have extremely fast sell-through rates. So let's see. Let's go ahead and type in Magnavox DVD VCR combo. Okay, when we type that in, we see that 1,100 are sold in that range. Let's go ahead and let's um, take the range. Let's just apply all ranges again. Okay, we're gonna see that 2,800 have sold in the last 90 days. And we also see that there are only 637 listed. So if you find a Magnavox of any model, you know at a, from a DVD VCR combo player that any model has on average a what? 6, 12, 18, 24, like a 450% sell through rate. Um, so yeah, you definitely want to be looking out for magnet boxes. Same thing, let's do Sony DVD VCR combo player. Okay, 975 currently listed at all prices. When we go to sold, we see that there are 1600 listed. So again, about a 200% sell through rate, which is extremely fast. Sony and Magnavox are definitely the DVD VCR combo players we want to be looking for. Now this is where we can separate ourselves from the competition. This is where you can be really good at this job. The average person listening to me is now thinking in their head, all Magnavoxes sell well and all Sonys sell well. And that is extremely far from the truth. Not all Magnavoxes or Sonys sell well at all. Just because you see Magnavox or Sony on anything does not mean it's worth picking up and it does not mean it's going to sell on eBay. For example, I have here <clears throat> Magnavox DVD player. Garbage, absolute garbage, not gonna sell at all, okay? 1,200 listed. I'm not gonna share my screen just because it's a little more difficult. 1,200 listed, less than 200 sold. And I'm also going to minus out remote. So let's minus out remote. 62 have sold. 62. And there are, and there are, man, over a thousand listed, okay? Just because it says Magnavox, just because it says Sony does not mean it's worth anything. So with this knowledge we've gained, we know that DVD VCR combo players sell for a ton of money. And with this electronic, it's very easy because they all have 
model numbers. Even though you know that Magnavox DVD VCR combo players sell well, you still need to look up each individual model number because there are two models that I know specifically that sell for less than $15. They just don't sell well. You have to look up each individual model number to actually know what is selling. Next item I wanna talk about are sunglass and eyeglass frames. Now, the research that we're gonna do on my computer right here is going to illustrate even more clearly how to find ones that sell well and how to find ones that you need to leave behind. I'm not even joking, right when I recorded that, I sold a pair of Ray-Bans for $50 plus shipping. All right, round two on my computer, I have here typed into eBay sunglasses and I have them filtered to use condition. There are 830,000 available. Let's go over here and let's scroll down to sold and let's see what the sell through rate is. 190,000, a 25, 20-ish percent sell through rate. That's terrible. So you're saying, Jake, I thought you said that sunglasses were really good to sell on eBay and you, and you need to focus on sell-through rate and you shouldn't pick up 20% sell-through rate items. So why are you saying that this is one of the five best items to sell on eBay? Well, you have to find the correct sunglasses. The correct sunglasses sell extremely fast. When you're doing this research on the computer, it automatically gives you some hints. Right here at the top, it says brand, Ray-Ban. Oakley, Gucci, Prada, Maui Gym, Louis Vuitton, Costa Del Mar. Also on the left right here, it gives us more brands. Costa Del Mar, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Maui Gym, Oakley, Prada, Ray-Ban, okay? It's showing us, it's already telling us, hey, we make a lot of money selling these brands because they sell often, so we're gonna push them in front of you. So if we click on Ray-Ban, now we're gonna see that in used condition, there are 34,000 uh, sold and then when we unfilter the solds, oh man, a little technical difficulties. If we unfilter the solds, there's 46,000. So Ray-Ban sunglasses have about an 80% sell through rate, which is awesome. Now, if you start typing in exact model numbers, RB5053, that's probably gonna have 120% sell through rate or even 200% sell through rate. It all just depends on the actual brands that you're looking up. Now, Let's look at Oakley. If we look at Oakley used men's sunglasses, there are 41,000 listed, and we're seeing an average, an average listing price of 150, 75, 140, 60, 70. In my experience, I sell really scratched up sunglasses, uh, Oakley frames only. I sell them for $40 plus shipping every single day. We're gonna go and we're gonna go to sold. There's 40,000, 41,000 listed and 25,000 have sold. Again, that's about a 60% sell-through rate. And if you find the correct, and if you find the correct models within Oakley, then you're going to be getting even more sales. So if we look up the Oakley FLAC 2.0, I know that that's a good brand right there. Oakley FLAC 2.0, there are 1,000 sold, and there are currently 1,300 listed. And those sell through rate numbers are also a little bit skewed because as you guys saw, they were showing lenses and little frame parts and those have a significantly slower sell through rate. The right, honestly, almost every single pair of good used condition Oakleys have over a 100% sell through rate and then super scratched up frames only, but the frames are in good shape, have, you know, over an 80% sell through rate. So I sell a ton of eyeglass frames from like Vogue, Maui Gym, Ray-Ban, and Oakley, just the frames. And a lot of people ask me, how do I sell these? Because a lot of people get into trouble because you are absolutely not allowed to sell prescription glasses or sunglasses on eBay. And a ton of the glasses that you guys are going to be coming across have prescription lenses in them. You do not even mention that they are prescription or that they are RX whatsoever. What you do, is I would list these, these are the Oakley Dart sunglasses. So I would list these as Oakley Dart sunglasses, women's purple metal frame, I mean purple metal, and then I would put in all caps, frames only, and then I would do 05-662, because that's the model number. You put frames only in all caps, and then in the description, you put lenses will need to be replaced. 
and that's it. That's how you sell these sunglasses. If these, these are just super scratched, but if, let's imagine these were prescription. I would not put prescription sunglasses. I would not put um, RX eyeglasses. I would put frames only. And then in the description, I still don't even mention that they're prescription or RX. I just say lenses need to be replaced. And then when this sells, you package it up and you send them with the frames and with the lenses. And the, and the purchaser, the customer, understands and is responsible for replacing the lenses. But I still send them just in this and I sell thousands and thousands a year. Item number three are digital cameras. These are my favorite things to sell. They sell insanely fast and for huge money. A lot of people are always like, if people have iPhones and all this stuff, why would people want digital cameras? Who cares why people are buying things? If people are buying them, get them listed. A lot of general contractors use these cameras because it's just better than an iPhone for what they're trying to accomplish. But let me show you a little more information on these digital cameras. Digital cameras, DSLR cameras, 35 millimeter cameras, film cameras, a lot of cameras sell for really good money. And it's, it's my number one selling category on eBay. This is the category that I sell the most of every single year. Canon is one of those items, one of those camera brands that I always get super excited when I see them. But again, not all Canon cameras are created equally. Right now, as the recording of this video, there are 53 Canon ELF 180 cameras. It's like the top of the line, best little digital camera. They sell for about $200 to $230 in used condition. If you can find them new, they sell for four to $600. There are 780 sold. Extremely fast sell through rate. If you list them at, if you list them at $189, they sell that second, like literally in six minutes or less. If you sell them, if you list them at 200, they will sell that day. If you list them at 220, you will sell them for 220 in three or four days, or you will get an offer immediately that day. And you can decide if you want to sell it for 175, 200, things like that. The Canon Owl 35 millimeter has about a 40% sell through rate. Still worth picking up in my opinion, because they're usually only three to $5 and they sell for about 30 to 40. And it's just a little longer tail, but it's a 40% sell through rate. So not nearly as much. Sony Cybershots sell extremely well, but HP and Kodak cameras can sell well, but they're significantly slower, usually about a 40% sell-through rate. What I'm trying to get at is you need to look up each individual model number. Even every single Canon, every single time I see a camera, I look up the model number no matter what, I just look it up. I look up every single camera model number that I see, because there's a good chance that it sells for $80. There's also a good chance that it has a 200% sell through rate, while there's also a very good chance that it has a seven awful percent sell through rate. So digital cameras are my number one selling category. They're super easy to ship. They're super easy to store. And they're relatively easy to find, especially at garage sales. And depending on your thrift stores, a lot, my thrift stores and a lot of other thrift stores across the United States don't mark up digital cameras. They just put them on the floor for three to $10. Item number four for me is vacuum parts. I love to buy a, a, a wand Dyson or a shark for 15 to $45 and then just detach everything and sell them as parts. Um, so this right here, you can sell, this is a Dyson. You can sell this for about $70 or you can even take it a step further. This gray part detaches from this canister and then you can sell each of these for $40 each. And you can sell the wand for $20. The heads, the brush heads, I don't even have any examples of because they sell way too darn quick. Here's a shark head. Again, sells super fast, I just happen to have one. If you can find the heads of these um, vacuum parts, they sell super quickly. I, I really focus on Shark and Dyson. You also want to look for Rainbow and Auric. There's a ton of different brands, but there's also a ton of brands, like, like I've said in this video, that absolutely suck. So you got to look up model numbers and you got to make sure you're buying the right equipment. Oh, there's one of the heads. Yeah, this Dyson head, it has an extremely fast sell through rate. I usually sell those within a week of listing for about $45 to $60. And then number five are golf clubs. 
you definitely want to keep your eye out for TaylorMade, Ping, Cleveland, all of those good brands. There's many, 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 many more. But I have taught you guys in this video and in another video how to actually look these up. All right, guys, I'm sure this is the best angle of the video so far. We're going to pretend that my garage is a thrift store. So we're in the thrift store and we find this TaylorMade R15. I wonder if this has a good sell-through rate. I've heard that TaylorMade golf clubs have a good sell-through rate. But instead of just blind buying this, I'm actually going to just make sure for myself to see if this coincides with my business model and my sell-through rate goal. So we're going to type in into eBay, TaylorMade R15. Okay, we're seeing a few different models. So we're going to look around here for a little bit more information. And then we're also seeing that this is a three wood. So we're going to type in three wood. Okay, there are 77 of these bad boys listed on eBay. We're going to filter to sold and see that there are 43 sold. This is about a 60% sell through rate. Golf is an evergreen category, so it's going to sell well all year long. If this is under $10, I'm going to buy it because it looks like this club is selling between $50 and $80. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this. Now we move on into the thrift store and we find, we'll say, this Pioneer remote. It's a DVD player remote. So right off the bat, I know Pioneer sells well, but I know that DVD players and DVD remotes don't sell particularly well. So I'm going to type in Pioneer VXX2705 to see what we're working with here. There are 33 listed and there are currently nine sold. That's a 30% sell through rate. This isn't one that I would be picking up now. I picked this up a while ago and it's still worth it because it will sell eventually. But for my business right now, it's just not something that I'm particularly looking for. But if we look at a different remote, for example, um, let's say you're out and about and you find this Denon remote control. Let me type this in real quick. There are 31 listed and 38 sold. This has over a 100% sell through rate. This will probably sell sometime this week. And while we were recording this, I just sold a Canon CA910 battery charger for a Canon, Canon uh, camera, just the charger, okay? All right, I hope this part of the video is also valuable for you guys. Wasn't planning on doing it, but we're still here in our thrift store. And we heard that Guitar Hero guitars uh, go for some decent money. And we just found this guitar. So we see right here on the back, there's a model number 95157.805. So we're going to look that up and see what happens. I heard the Guitar Hero is good, but I'm not sure about this particular model. So we're going to go ahead and type it in here and we see that 16 are listed. Okay. This is pretty exciting guys. 16 listed, 119 sold and they're selling for 100. They're selling for 80 to $120 plus shipping. One of the best items in your thrift stores right now is the Xbox Explorer guitar. If you can buy it for under 10 bucks, free under 40 bucks, you're gonna be able to sell it for $100 and it's going to sell probably the day you list it. Worst case scenario, two weeks, okay? But now we're like, okay, sweet. Every single Guitar Hero guitar is worth a ton of money, right? Well, let's see. This one is a different model number. So we're gonna look this one up. Hopefully that uh, truck wasn't too loud. Okay, we're looking here and this is the Zero, one, two, three, four, six, five, four. Okay, this one has 1,500 listed and 440 sales. 30 to 40% sell through rate. Not terrible, pretty bad. Especially during Q4, during Christmas, this probably has a 20% sell through rate during the summer. So not all Guitar Hero is created equally. 
So you can't just pick up every single Guitar Hero guitar you see. I can do hundreds of thousands of more examples, but I think you guys get the point. All right, guys, I have some advice and experience for you guys that I'm hoping will increase the amount of sales you guys have and just make your overall work and life here on eBay better and simpler. And that is focus on fast sell through rate items. At one point, I had 1,600 items in my shop with 1,200 sales over 90 days. It's pretty dang good in my opinion. It's about an 80% sell through rate over 90 days. Things were rolling and flowing and it was awesome. Then I decided, well, this is how much money I'm making every day. This is great. If I just get to 3,200 items, I will double that. But in pursuit of doubling my store, I had to pick up slower sell through rate items because if you're finding 10, 100, if you're finding 10, 80% sell through rate items every single day, in order to double that, by just going to the same amount of stores or putting in the same amount of workforce sourcing doesn't work. In order to do that, you have to increase your time sourcing and you have to increase your time listing and increase your time packing and increase all of that time. So it's extremely hard to do. It's If you're willing to put in the work and put in that educated work, it can happen. But what most people do as I did was I increased my sourcing by a little bit but just picked up slower sell through rate items because I thought, man, if I'm selling this much with 1600, once I get to 3200, it'll just double and it didn't happen. It's impossible to keep finding the same sell through rate doing only a little bit more or especially doing exactly the same sourcing wise. So I started picking up Duluth Trading Co shirts and I started picking up every single Travis Matthew shirt, regardless of the size, regardless of the pattern, started picking up all the Woolrich shirts and uh, my no clothing shop with an 80% sell through rate became a store with about a 40% sell through rate, which sucked. I had, I got up to 3000 items, but I only had 1400 sold. Not great. Nowadays, I am only focusing on 80% sell through rate or faster. I'm not focusing on the exact same amount of listings every single day. I'm just focusing on as many fast sell through rate items as I can find. I'm usually, I was listing 20 to 25, I was listing 25 every single day for a while. Now I'm listing sometimes 12, sometimes 16, just kind of depending on what I'm able to find. My store has shrunk down to 2,480 items and my sales have risen to over 1,600 in the last 90 days. My store is getting smaller and my sales are increasing. It's a beautiful thing. Don't chase store size, chase sales velocity. Increase your sell through rate and you will increase the cash flow, the amount of money in your pocket. You'll decrease the amount. You will spend less on inventory and make more money because you are selling things faster. It's a beautiful thing. And then eventually you'll just get to a spot where you don't really grow or or decrease the amount in your store. I think that will probably be somewhere around 2,000 items for me, which I'm excited for. And I'll just keep maintaining that, maybe go down some months, maybe go up some months in the items in my shop. But this is something that, in my opinion, you guys definitely wanna focus on. Fast sell-through rate. These five items and many more that I'm talking about will make your guys' stores much, much better.